Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Going to talk about thriving versus surviving. All right, this is really important because <clears throat> in America, we've learned to survive really well. We're darn good at it. We're hardy people. We're intelligent people. But how many of us are thriving? How many of us even know what thriving looks like, or even knows what the definition of thriving is? You know. Health in America is defined as the absence of disease. It's a state of lack. It doesn't have a definition unto itself. It's like darkness is the absence of light. You can't describe darkness without using light in the definition. Darkness is a state of lack. Health in America is a state of lack. It's the absence of disease.、And、that's what doctors know. They study pathology, which is illness. They're really good at studying illness, but are they good at studying this thing called health? No. Why should they? Healthy people don't go to the doctor, so why would doctors study that? They wouldn't make any money. Health is zero. Disease is some negative number. You know, cancer is minus fifty. Diabetes is minus you know thirty-five. A little sniffles minus five. You know, disease is. Below zero, health is zero if you define it as the absence of disease. You have now reached zero. All right, exciting. I'm living at zero. You know, who wants to do that? That's called surviving. That's what we've been taught is the ultimate paradigm to move into is zero. You know. Well, what what about ten? What about twenty? What is 162 look like. We don't know because we have so few examples of that. Because we've been taught that surviving is enough. We've been taught that surviving is our job. It's our duty to be good citizens, to take our medications, to do our jobs that we hate and are meaningless, and to be good consumers. Be at zero. Sedate yourself with television. Sedate yourself with food. Sedate yourself with medication. Just make sure you're at zero, because zero people don't raise a fuss. Zero people don't revolt. They don't cause revolution. They don't shake things up. But people that are thriving, they are dangerous people. People that are living full on are not afraid, and they've got strength, they've got energy, they've got endurance, and they've got passion. They're tough. They're a force to be reckoned with. One impassioned person can change the world. So, how do you get that passion? That's what we're going to talk about tonight. How do you thrive? That's the topic of this talk. To move beyond the old paradigm, because I'm not interested. Not interested, and you shouldn't be either. And if you are, well, I'm going to judge you for it, but. Ask yourself truthfully: Is this who I want to be, and is this the life that I want to live? That's a really important question. So often we just think that we're stuck. It's just the way it is, and I'm stuck. Well, maybe if you say so, maybe not.